Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mesh here. Welcome back to Pokemon Ash Grey. Now, I was reading through the comments section on the last video, and apparently I may have missed something that's kind of important. A certain Pokemon that I should have got by now, so we're gonna go and get him. Um, I could have done this a little later on, but a lot of the comments were really, um, well, they were really uh, telling me I should get him now before I face the trainers past the, uh, the Nugget Bridge road, well I call it Nugget Road, it's not really Nugget Bridge is it? But it's important that I get him now if I'm gonna try and stick to the storyline and okay I'll say what it is, it's Bulbasaur. Um, I know Bulbasaur is, is a great Pokemon, don't know why Ash doesn't ever evolve the bloody thing but um, yeah we'll get myself a Bulbasaur, we'll keep him as a Bulbasaur because if if I evolve said Bulbasaur and Squirtle and whatnot and even Charmander too early, I'll, I will miss certain side quests, or I say side quests, I'll miss certain events that you can only get when you follow the TV series. Uh, I've already missed a, a few little things, uh, for example when I didn't catch the Caterpie and get it as an Metapod, I missed out on a battle with a Bug Trainer in uh, Viridian Forest. And that was a bit silly of me, so I need to try and stick to the storyline as much as possible, and that looks like an Oddish, not, not a Bulbasaur, don't know what's going on there. Hello Oddish. Uh, can I catch you? Wait, I don't know why I'm catching... Oh, Bulbasaur! There we go! I was, I was thinking to myself then, wait, am I going to catch this Oddish? So this is odd. But oh, it's Bulbasaur, brother! Bulbasaur, no! Come back with my Oddish, you asshole! Come back here! Where did he go? What's that sign say? Please do not capture any Pokemon you find here. This is a sanctuary for Pokemon. I want a freaking Bulbasaur. I don't care what you say. Um, I'll uh, I'll catch him if I find him. It's fine as keepers, as they always say. Now, I don't know where he's hiding. Um, but there, there's an oddish. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's the oddish that also took away. You never know. I don't want to catch an oddish anyway. I always thought the beetroot Pokemon was pretty terrible. At least it, it looks like just one giant beetroot, doesn't he? Uh, I'm gonna avoid these green bushes just because I don't like the look of them. I'll scout the area first and then I'll jump in them if need be. But for now, we'll avoid these. I'm just going to guess that it's going to be a I chase him down kind of thing and he keeps running away every time I approach him. That's what I'm going to guess. Um, and here we go. And oh, is, is that the Bulbasaur? That's the Bulbasaur. Hello, Rattata. Wow, you got like two Rattas and an Oddish. Nice little sanctuary you got going there. It's not really much, is it? Three Pokemon. Oh, four with a Bulbasaur. Oh, hello. My name's Melanie. I moved to this place so I could create a sanctuary for Pokemon that have been hurt or abandoned by their trainers. So it's like the RSPCA for Pokemon. This place is more like a spa than a hospital. Those holes, wait, what holes? The bushes? I'm sorry, they were trapped. Oh, look, I avoided them then. I wanted to catch Pokemon traders before they reached the village. There are so many injured Pokemon here that I have to protect them. That's why I put up that sign asking not to catch any Pokemon here. Please respect that. Hmm, this Pokemon, this Bulbasaur, it volunteered to guard the whole village. It protects all the injured Pokemon whenever enemies try to attack them. He is the, Bulb the bravest and most loyal Pokemon I know. Ash, do you agree that Bulbasaur will be an excellent addition to your team? Wait, you just said you didn't want me to catch any of the Pokemon. I think Bulbasaur should go with you. Well, okay, if, if you say so, Melanie. I just met you like 10 seconds ago. If you want to give me your best Pokemon, then fine. Fine by me. Bulbasaur stayed here to protect the weaker Pokemon, but this village is too small. The ball when it's back can't grow. It needs to go out into the will now, and I know you'll take good care of it. I suppose you're just going to stay here, right? Please do me this favor, take Bulbasaur with you on your journey, it will join you on one condition, you have to battle it first. Does that mean I have to catch the guy? Um, okay, we'll send out Pikachu then. Uh, Electric's not super effective against Grass, hopefully he's not too high level, and we can uh, whittle this guy down. Level 10, Bulbasaur's a little bit on the weak side right now, he'll, he'll need a bit of training. We don't want to evolve him though, no matter what, we will, we will stick to TV series, and but Jesus Christ, that did a ton of damage. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully the leech siege, uh, leech, leech seed will heal him up enough. Whereas I can maybe get another thunder shock off. That's just yeah. Okay, leech seed heals by a lot. I gotta be careful though, because this Bulbasaur could easily faint my Pikachu if I'm too cautious. I just, are you serious? Are you serious? When did thunder shock do that much damage? Uh, does he come with me now? Because I beat him. Is he gonna come with me now, Mel Melanie? Thank you for taking care of him. I, I don't even have the bloody guy. Uh, let's click on him again. I am, I'm confuzzled. Okay, you get you get infinite shots at this. Thank God for that. If it was one shot and then he's dead, I screwed up. 
I have to catch him with a Pokeball then, it seems obvious. It's the only thing I can do. I'll get this guy. And this time, Thunderstruck did no damage. I, I'm really confused as to the damage ratio on this move. Please, please don't make him faint now. You did less than half. You get him down to Red Bar, please. There we go. Okay, we'll send out... Um, actually, there's nothing, there's nothing really to send out. He's paralyzed. Down to Red. We'll send out some Pokeballs. Let's get, let's get this guy. Uh, where are the Pokeballs? There we go. I got 12 Pokeballs. Should be enough. If, they, if he breaks out of all 12, I will probably... Probably rage. Jesus, that is that is just a, a tease right there. That is such a tease. I'm I'm a little sad. Okay, we've got 11 more shots of this. I swear to God, I know Bulbasaur's not going to be easy to catch because he's such a great rare Pokemon, but you don't have to take the piss. He's down to a sliver of health, and he's paralyzed. You can't break out of out of every single one of these Pokeballs. <laughs> swear to God, maybe it's better to. To freaking put the guy to sleep. Maybe I should send out Butterfree first. And then get him to red. Are you serious? Are you serious, Bulbasaur? Okay. We'll send out a couple more. Then I might try a new strategy. Because I think he's going to keep breaking out of every single one of these Pokeballs. This is, this is ridiculous. This is freaking ridiculous. Alright, we'll send out one more. And then I'm going to have to try a different strategy. I'll, I'll try and do that thing I did on the Game Boy. You know when the Pokeball shakes and you moved it... The, the, you press the arrow keys. No, it didn't work. This used to be a little myth glitch where you throw a Pokeball and as it rocks to the sides, you press the uh, the button pointing in that direction. And apparently when you timed it right, it increased the chances of catching the Pokemon. I never knew if that was just some bullshit my friends made up or if that's actually the case. Okay. We'll find him again. What we're going to do, okay Bulbasaur, is we're going to send out... Um, uh, the problem with sending out Pikachu is it could, I could paralyze him. We'll send out Butterfree. And we'll go for a Sleep Powder option. Now, him being asleep, I don't know if that's the same catch ratio as paralyzing the Pokemon you're trying to catch. But we'll give it a go. So we'll go for a Sleep Powder straight away. I can't really use a Gust, because that's going to make him faint. And I don't have any other damaging moves, right? It's just Gust, Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, and Stun Spore. So... We'll now send out the uh, yeah, we'll send out Pikachu, and we'll, and we'll use we'll use two Thunder Shocks. He'll probably wake up that time frame, but I'm fine with it because I can't paralyze him whilst he's asleep. So as long as the Thunder Shock does the same amount of damage as it did in the last battle, no, it doesn't. It does around half. That's a shame, and I can't really risk a Quick Attack because Quick well Quick Attack will make him faint, and Slam, of course, it will. Um, this is quite a predicament, really. I may have to wait this out. I can't really risk a second thunder shot. Bulbasaur, why'd you have to be so hard to catch? Like, damn it. Maybe I'll be better off getting some great balls later on in the game and catching you then, but then I'll miss out on certain side missions. Uh, what do I have here? Just a lot of repels and... Oh, this is a tough one. Okay, catching Bulbasaur is not easy, guys. It really isn't. We'll just, we'll just waste the move right there and use a thunder wave. He'll probably wake up in a second. Use a leech seed, please. That's, that's not a leech seed. And now he's freaking... I can't put him to sleep anymore. Bloody brilliant. We'll go through another Thundershot. I never knew the guy was so hard to catch, guys. Never knew. Okay, he's much lower than last time. I'll just go throw more Pokeballs out. Like, for God's sake. I got, I got up freaking seven of them, right? If he breaks out of all seven, this guy's impossible to catch. I swear to God. I swear to God. Come on, Bulbasaur. You can do this. <laughs> oh, I'm going to rage in this video. I am going to rage a lot. I am going to get very angry. I watched The Incredible Hulk last night, so it's uh, quite fitting I could use that don't make me angry catchphrase right now. I need to use a potion on Pikachu, I swear to God. Okay, I finally caught him. Finally caught Bulbasaur. That was that was tough. Uh, I put him to sleep and I threw about four, four, four Pokeballs. Managed to catch him finally. I'm playing at fast speed right now because I held down space by trying to do this. Took a while. And now I can't take off the fast speed because it's not lagging. It's just a problem. So, got a Bulbasaur. Thank God. It was a toughie. We're not going to nick nick nickname him because Ash doesn't nick nick nickname his Pokemon. Sounds a stutter now. He's having a hard time saying nicknames. A bit of a tongue twister, really. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ, that was frustrating. I'll probably uh, do a bit of cutting out in the footage department after that fight. Um, because I don't want to just spend show too much footage of me trying to catch the guy. 
Might be a bit boring for you guys. So let's just make our way back. We'll use a Pokemon Center. I went through a lot of Pokeballs trying to catch that Bulbasaur. It wasn't nowhere near as easy as I wanted to wanted it to be. Um, so let us make up make our way back. And then we'll go back up and fight the the guy past the um well, the long line of trainers. Where's the Poke oh that's <laughs> I'm blind. I forgot what the Pokemon Center looked like. I had a bit of a brain freeze there. So it's going to be going in fast motion now for the rest of the video. I have to do it like this because uh, the only problem I have is when I record Pokemon and I go uh, use any fast motion uh, by holding down the uh, fast forward key, it starts to lag the game straight after. It's, it's definitely a little bit of an issue, but if I didn't do that, I would have spent far too long trying to catch this guy. So we'll uh, have Pikachu out. And this, this is a fake gym, right, as it said before. Not sanctioned by the Pokemon League. This guy's got 99 wins, zero losses. I'm pretty sure this is the guy from the anime who had a Sandshrew, a very strong Sandshrew, and he fought anyone that challenged him. And um, he was on a 99 win streak or something along those lines, so. I'm AJ, are you my next victim? Beating chumps like you is my hobby. You may think you're hot stuff, kid, but you're not playing in the Pokemon Little League anymore. After I win 100 matches in a row, I'll start competing for badges. Let's get started then. He's down to 99. I'm going to beat him now and then he's just going to give up all hopes. He's going, you know, screw, the, screw Pokemon. I quit. I'm going to be a chef. Yeah, let's fight. Okay. He's just got the one... Tw Level 28? Are you serious? Jesus. Okay. Electric doesn't work on ground Pokemon, does it? Does that... I don't think... Thunder Wave will work. Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, that's cool. All right, we'll just go use and slam them. Jesus, this is going to be a toughie. Oh, my God. I'm screwed. I shouldn't have fought this guy. It was a bit too soon. It really was. Maybe I should have gone for a sleep powder instead of the paralysis. Might have, might have had a chance. Or even the poison powder. It's going to beat me now. He's a quick attack. There goes Pikachu, guys. Oh, man, I'm screwed. Okay, we can get some uh, sun attacks off. It's the only hope I have right now is just destroying his accuracy and then going for as many attacks as I can without getting hit. Okay. Okay, you can use Sun Attack six times apparently. Now we're going to have to start using Quick Attack a lot. And maybe, just maybe, we're going to beat this guy and get a ton of experience. Um, I don't like Rapid Spin, but at least it's not a rollout. Rollout's the problem. That move just scales far too much and it, it'll screw me over. I want Bulbasaur to get some experience right now. So, um, yeah, let's send out Bulbasaur. Don't want to give Pidgeotto all the experience. And we'll just use a Vine Whip. Good shit, Bulbasaur. Juicy amount of experience for little Bulbasaur right here. Actually, he didn't really grow much, did he? And he grew one level. He lost because I just outsmarted you. My winning streak's over, but I'll still be champ. Okay, we need to go back <laughs> real quickly. My Pokemon are super low on health right now. So yeah, finally got the Bulbasaur. We're down to getting Squirtle and Charm. And now we'll get those soon. Do not worry, guys. I always read through the comment section on these videos just to make sure as to where they are and uh, how to get them. I'll, I'll even uh, double check on uh, YouTube or a walkthrough as to where you get Squirtle and Charmander. I'm pretty sure you get Squirtle through using... What's that move? Let's have a look. Uh, TM case. Uh, attract. We've got Rock Tomb, Raw, and Water Pulse. We'll save Water Pulse for a Squirtle, of course. We don't want to go wasting that just yet. What's this? Oh, okay. Okay, let's put on PC. We don't need to use that. I don't know there's loads of random Pokemon in there and no people. Oh my god, it's freaking foggy. Okay, Joe. Then what's this Pokemon called? Is it Zubat? You'll have to do better than that. Keep going up with those types of answers and we'll have to pummel you some more. Hey, you're a bully. Well, you're bullies. Joe, are you okay? This is a private tra training session. We're helping our classmate bone up. But we don't fight losers like you. See you back at the tech, Joe. Oh, Joe. <sighs> this is why you don't use Rattata, man. Thanks for the help. Those were my classmates at the Tech. They're trying to help me prepare for exams. Yes, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll face him. I'm the lowest ranked student at the Tech. Okay, oh, I'll face you. Yeah, ah, you're the lowest rank. You're know, level 17 Weeping Bell. That's impressive. All right, we use Slam because it does the most damage. Lower accuracy, and we'll just go for a quick attack. So angry that you poisoned me. Why did you have to poison me, dude? Now I have to use a freaking antidote. Uh, Gazella's the student in charge of the system. She's in the advanced class, and she's amazing. And now he's just running on the spot. Guess he's just working out. Definitely needs to work out. Poor little Joe. Uh, where's the antidote? There it is. Don't want him uh, poisoning out as I make my way back to the Pokemon Center. I'm studying for my exams. I guess I could take a break to battle. Uh, let's go, kid Priscilla. Priscilla. 
Uh, yeah, that's not going to be effective. Don't know why I use that, really. Uh, use a slam. Glad the stun spawn missed. That would have been frustrating. And a Ponyta. I need to get myself a water Pokemon. Oh, there we go. Juicy. 23. Man, that Sandshrew was level 28. I'm still kind of reeling as to how high level that was. It was ridiculous. Okay, need a run. Uh, we use Thundershock. And whatever it is, I'll just use the freaking Thundershock. When in doubt, we'll just use Thundershock, guys. It works. It really does. Um, I'll face this kid here. Uh, in the middle of a fog training session. Hey, you look you look just like Joe over there. Are you two like twin brothers? Ah, uh, Sparrow, that's easy. Man, I could just spam Pikachu all day and <laughs> I'll have no problem. Okay, and then we'll face this uh, this skill right here. Uh, she's, oh, wow, she's got four Pokemon. There's no point using anything else. If they, she can send a flying Pokemon, then I'll just keep using Thundershot. Super effective. Yeah, I think she's got four flying, flying Pokemon. You should have been one of those bird catchers with the uh, little cages. You would have uh, fit right in there. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jen? Was that, was that it? Okay. And finally... Ah, oh, no, I should have uh, gotten his line of sight a little further down. Maybe I would have gotten past the, the tree right there and I uh, got on the Pokeball. And he's going to send out Ekans. Okay. Pikachu's pretty high level, but he is the well, the protagonist in this piece, really. So we want him to be super high level. Anyway, I'm going to end this part here so I can um, start a new part. Maybe train a Bulbasaur a little bit off screen for you guys. And then finally, I can get this back into normal speed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are enjoying Pokemon. Of course, leave suggestions down below as to um, certain things you'd like me to do in this Pokemon series. Like uh, maybe even how, even how to catch the Charmander and the Squirtle because I still don't know how to do that. So uh, that would be really helpful in the comment section. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.